Now guys, liquid diet guys, their front door is actually in an alleyway, kind of like right off uh, Commerce. And uh, their back door is on, uh, not Commerce, I'm sorry. Is it Commerce? No, hold on, scratch that. It's Joe coming back again with another video, guys. And today we're back in Arch District, and uh, I just want to show you guys three new watering holes that opened up to Arch, Arch District in like the last like six months. Uh, all three of them aren't on Main Street; they're kind of like a block away. And uh, let's get to it, guys. All right, guys. First up on the list, we find ourselves at Mysterio Mescal Bar. And like I said, guys, this is a block away on Main Street on Casino Center Drive. And my bad, guys, this place, this place has been over for two years. I don't know how I've missed this place for the last two years. But uh, this is, like I said, a mezcal bar specializing in mezcal cocktails. First up, guys, I am trying their watermelon mezcal cocktail, which is basically has, uh, I don't know this word, it's Del Magüe Vida, <laughs> sage syrup, watermelon juice, lime juice, and jalapeno slices, guys. So you guys know me, you guys know I do like jalapenos in my drink. Uh, like the, uh, the jalapeno beer at that one brewery that's closed down unfortunately, but uh, let's taste this and see how it goes. Yeah. Guys, that's delicious guys. Starts out sweet with the watermelon flavors and then ends with a little, little jalapeno spiciness at the end. I know I'm not, a lot of you don't like that, but I love that, it's delicious. It also comes with a little uh, watermelon slice. Nice and sweet. It's not in season, but so sweet. Also guys, if you're a little hungry, they also have some small bites here, ranging from empanadas, street tacos, ceviche, wings, and quesadillas. All right guys, this is gonna be a first for the channel. Uh, like I said, they do have small bites here guys, and they also have chapulines, guys. And uh, what chapulines are is basically uh, the roasted grasshoppers. So these are seasoned roasted grasshoppers that I'm gonna try for the first time. Wish me luck. They're little, they're little grasshoppers, guys. It's like a, tastes like a, like a cracker, maybe. Oh, here, we, here comes the flavors. A little, little spicy, a little salty. So guys, grasshoppers aren't for everybody, but uh, not bad. A little salty, a little spicy. This is a big sucker. All right guys, to wash down those chapulinas, I got another cocktail and it's their Oaxacan fashion. So if you like old fashions, uh, most likely you're gonna like this. Instead of the whiskey, it's made with uh, mezcal. And it's also smoked. Uh, it's a smoked old fashioned, so. It's gonna be tasty, guys. This one is made with, uh, it says Ray Comparo, Ancho Reyes, Agave Nectar, Lemon Juice, and Mole Bitters. So guys, let's take a taste, see how it is. Delicious, freaking delicious, guys. And guys, if mezcal is not your thing, they also have uh, some beers on tap, guys, a few. Uh, Few beers up there like mango cart and at the end on the right there they have some vanilla porter that that next time i come i think i'm gonna try that one all right guys that's gonna do it for a mysterio mezcal bar guys this place is pretty chill guys i had two great cocktails the watermelon one if you want to have a little little sweet side to your mezcal drinks and also the uh oaxacan old-fashioned which was a banger this was a great drink guys Super awesome, smokes, the smoky flavor. Super good, guys. Also, if you're hungry, they got the small bites, which I intend to come and try later on, guys. So guys, if you're ever in Arch District, do yourself a favor, guys. Go one block over to Casino Center Drive. Check out the studio, Mezcal Bar, guys. So, let's move on to the next spot.
everybody, guys. Now we find ourselves a block off Main Street on the opposite side on Commerce Boulevard, and uh, and we're here at the new Tiki Burger called Stray Pirate. And guys, this place is it's pretty busy already at, at like four o'clock in the afternoon. This place is pumping. It's got a great vibe in here. You got the dim lights, dark and dank, like uh, my friend Chrissy likes. And uh, I'm gonna try one of their one of their cocktails called the Goonies Never Say Die, guys. And basically this one has three rums, fresh squeezed lime, orange and grapefruit, pineapple, honey, and angostura. So guys, let's try this out and see how it is. Delicious. Very uh, refreshing with all the limes and the pineapple and everything. Oh, that's it right there. <laughs> Thank you, brother. <laughs> It's a bit, it's a bitters, guys. I'm just through it, basically. All those, uh, the spice and the cinnamon and oh, okay. The of awesome, brother. Awesome. The barkeep was kind enough to let me know what Angostura is, and it's basically it's a bitters. It has all the spices and the flavors in it. Thank you, brother. <laughs> so, guys, not only do they have delicious cocktails here at this bar, but they also have a few, uh, few beers on draft that you can get, and also some beers uh, in the can. So. You're not limited to just their uh, their tiki cocktails, guys. All right, guys, so that first cocktail was off their uh, classic menu. Now I'm trying one of their original cocktails, and this one is called Robin the Golf, guys. And this one has Grand Centenario Resposado, fresh squeezed lime, watermelon, jalapeno, italicus, and tahine on the rim. So guys, this looks delicious. Let's, let's try it out here, guys. Yeah. This one this one's better than the first one. For me. Oh no, my, my watermelon fell in. <laughs> so guys, we tried two cocktails here at uh, Stray Pirate. We tried the Goonies Never Die, which is a classic tiki drink, guys. It's got like Three rums, very refreshing, very safe to drink. And then one off the original menu, which was the, um, I forgot already. Robbing the golf with tequila and other goodness. And guys, I really like this one, guys. This one was a really good one. This one's off their um, original uh, cocktails menu. So guys, this was, this was a very good one. And I'm done, guys. So uh, that's gonna do it here for Stray Pirate, guys. This bar, pretty awesome, guys. The decor with all the dogs and the pirates, super cool, no doubt. Very dark and dank vibe. Guys, you're gonna love this place, guys. Check it out. And like I said, it's not on Main Street. It's a block over on Commerce, guys. So uh, do yourself a favor and walk on over. Check out this bar, guys. On to the next spot. I'm getting buzzed. Guys, next stop is Voodoo Brewing. Now, it looks like they have their own parking area, so if you ever come here, guys, they have their own parking lot. district also and like I said all these spots are not on Main Street it's a block over so this is also on Commerce Commerce Avenue guys I'm trying their black voodoo daddy guys and this one is a Russian style Imperial Stout it's 12% ABV so let's taste it see how it is
full body flavor, guys. This one's a good one. Very tasty. Good, brother. Very good. Awesome. So I'm trying another Imperial Stout that they have here. It's called Where Our Secrets Grow, and this was a 9% ABV, guys. Let's see how this one is. Another good one, guys. Another good one. Solid. I think I might like this one better, maybe. What is that? This yeah. one is the Imperial Stout, uh, where our secrets grow, and then which one did I get? Uh, Big I Black Voodoo Daddy. Daddy. Big Black Voodoo Daddy, so that's gonna be our Imperial. Yeah. Uh, Are you vlogging? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, All right, guys, the bartender handed me an IPA. You guys know I don't like any IPAs, <laughs> but I'll try it, because he said he likes yeah, it. it uh, this one is called The Ricky Spanish, and it's 9.3. ABV guys, so let's try it and let's see how it is, okay? It's a little shot. It doesn't taste, it's, what I've noticed about your beers You know what? I gotta admit guys, it's not bad. It has a little citrusy taste, you know what I mean, at the very end. It doesn't have that bitter taste that most IPAs have. Which one's this one? That one right there is gonna be the Voodoo Light Love Child, the, uh, our, uh, Belgian Chappelle. Oh, I might like this one. I might, I might like this one. I might like this one. I like Belgian beers. I like Belgian beers. He gave, me, he gave me another one. Very notes. It's a Belgian Chappelle. This one uh, is a 9.5% ABV, guys. And I do like Belgian beer, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this one, so. Yeah, this one's solid. This one's solid, guys. This one is solid. Oh, so cooler. They, <laughs> they keep coming, they keep coming. Oh my God, Austin, I got a Which one? Which one is this one? Which one is this one? going to be the lacto cooler. Lacto cooler right here? our best selling. It's 5.5 on oh. the ABV scale. It's our sour. But try it out. All right, guys. You know, he handed me a sour. You guys know I don't like sour. <laughs> what beers do you like? You don't like? I like, por I like porters. I like stouts. And, uh, and let's try it out. It looks green. Yeah, but I got to cut you off, dude. Told you, girl. You know what, for a sour, that's not bad, guys. Told you. That one's not bad, actually. It tastes like This one's called Lactor Cooler. It's 5.5% ABV. This one's, yeah, yeah, it's like a green apple, yeah. It's not bad, guys. This one's not bad. I'll give it to you, brother, it's not bad. All right, guys, I'm trying one more beer here. It's their Belgian triple, it's called Voodoo Child. This one's 9.5% ABV, guys. Let's see how it is. Guys, this one's a good one, guys. If you like Belgian beers, super easy to drink, super smooth. A little citrusy tasting. This one's good, guys. All right, guys, we tried two beers at Voodoo Brewing, guys. Both were solid, guys. I tried their Stout, Imperial Stout, and also the Belgian Triple, guys. Both solid beers, guys. Guys, check out Voodoo Brewing, guys, if you get a chance, guys. It's not, on, it's, not on main, it's not on Main Street, but it's one block away, guys, on Commerce, guys. Give them a chance, guys. Solid beers, let me tell you. Solid. So, guys, off the alley here, off, uh, it's Imperial. It's liquid diet, guys. It's, it's unmarked. So, if you're looking for a liquid diet, that's what it looks like. It's, it's totally unmarked. And that's the door right there. Check it out. All right, guys, we made it to our last spot, and uh, it's called Liquid Diet. And this one is also a block away from Main Street. It is also on Commerce Avenue, guys. And I'm trying their strawberry jalapeno uh, margarita. It smells strong, let's see how it is. I mean, I certainly am. And my sister, like, I don't have the, like, 
<laughs> Definitely <laughs> heavy on the jalapeno parts, guys. Definitely. All right, guys. So uh, Liquid Diet, guys. Their front door is actually in a little alleyway that's that's off Imperial, and their back door is on Commerce. So it's a little difficult to find, guys, but if you guys try hard enough, you'll definitely find it, guys. Guys, I'd say this one is the less flashiest of the four that we went to. Uh, this one, they definitely focus on the, uh, the cocktail. So, uh, yeah. I'm buzzed already. All right, guys, well, I'm done with the uh, strawberry jalapeno margarita. And guys, I want to say that that drink is more heavily on the jalapeno pork. So uh, it was okay. It wasn't my style. I felt like you could have used a little bit more of the strawberry flavor on it. But now I got their butter pecan cocktail, which is an Irish whiskey-based drink, guys. So uh, let's taste it, see how it is. Guys, this is very sweet. <laughs> this is a very sweet drink, guys, so be careful if you get this one. Very sweet in the butter pecan tasting. <laughs> All right, guys, so I just showed you four new spots in the downtown arts district that you can have a drink at, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, because that's gonna do it, guys. I'm a little buzzed. But guys, my name is Joe, and you just watched Straight Out of Vegas. So if you're feeling that vibe, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I release future videos. Guys, I thank you for watching, and I'll see ya.